In this lecture, we want to learn what conditions must be met for a forward linkage to exist. These conditions are defined between the lengths of the links. Let's start with the conditions for the existence of a triangle. From basic geometry, we know that for a triangle, with lengths of A, B, and C, the summation of A and B must be greater than C. This is one of the conditions for this triangle to exist. There is also another one which says the absolute value of the difference between A and B must be less than C. Then we can combine these and say the absolute value of A minus B should be less than C, which should be less than A plus B. I can also add equal here and here if I generalize to a squash triangle. Now let's use the requirements for the existence of a triangle to find the conditions for the existence of a forward linkage. In this forward linkage, the length of the base link is L1, for the driver L2, the coupler L3, and for the follower L4. The center of rotation for link 2 is O2, and the center of rotation for link 4 is O4. A and B are the pin joints connecting the coupler link to the driver and the follower. If I connect pin A to joint O4, I can divide the linkage into two triangles. Then, for the existence of triangle O2A04, I could say the absolute value of L1 minus L2 must be less than or equal to O4A, which must be less than or equal to L1 plus L2. Similarly, for the existence of triangle AB04, the absolute value of L3 minus L4 must be less than or equal to O4A, which must be less than or equal to L3 plus L4. Since this term is less than O4A and O4A is less than this term, I can say this term, the absolute value of L1 minus L2, is less than or equal to this term, L3 plus L4. And similarly, since this term is less than O4A and O4A is less than this term, we can say this term, the absolute value of L3 minus L4, is less than or equal to this term. L1 plus L2. Now, if I erase this line and instead draw a line from O2 to B, then I will have two new triangles. Repeating the same procedure, I would say for the existence of triangle O2AB, the absolute value of L2 minus L3 must be less than or equal to O2B, which must be less than or equal to L2 plus L3. Similarly, for the existence of triangle O2, O4, B, the absolute value of L1 minus L4 must be less than or equal to O2B which must be less than or equal to L1 plus L4. Since this term is less than O2B and O2B is less than this term, I can say this term, 
the absolute value of L2 minus L3 is less than or equal to this term, L1 plus L4. And similarly, since this term is less than O2B and O2B is less than this term, I can say this term, the absolute value of L1 minus L4 is less than or equal to L2 plus L3. Therefore, these four conditions must be met for the existence of a four-bar linkage. Now let's have an example to practice and see how we can use these conditions. In this four-bar linkage, we want to know in which range of the length of the base link the linkage can exist. The length of the other links have been given. Apart from L1, which is X and needs to be determined, L2 is 2, L3 is 7, and L4 is 4 unit lengths. We have four conditions to meet. The absolute value of L1 minus L2 must be less than or equal to L3 plus L4. So the absolute value of X minus 2 must be less than or equal to 7 plus 4. And from there, X must be between minus 9 and 13. We don't need this part of the condition because X is a length which is definitely greater than 0. The absolute value of L3 minus L4 must be less than or equal to L1 plus L2. So the absolute value of 7 minus 4 must be less than or equal to x plus 2. And from there, x must be greater than or equal to 1. The absolute value of L2 minus L3 must be less than or equal to L1 plus L4. So the absolute value of 2 minus 7 must be less than or equal to x plus 4 which again says that x must be greater or equal to 1. The absolute value of L1 minus L4 must be less than or equal to L2 plus L3. So the absolute value of x minus 4 must be less than or equal to 2 plus 7. And from there, x must be between minus 5 and 13. Again, we don't need this part of the condition since x is greater than 0. Finally, the intersection of all these conditions says the length of the base link must be between 1 and 13 for the linkage to exist.